Because if you try to control everything, you are feeding into their aggression. An aggressive player wants you to play defensive, wants you to play passive, and wants you to control because they can ego challenge you and that's their comfort zone. So what I want you to do is like adapt a, all right, we're gonna do Nalia, big going in and out of Grand Champ 1, Grand Champ 2, feel like I'm playing well, but game's feeling consistent. Doing a lot of OT at work this week, won't be there for streams. No worries, I mean, IRL is like work, school, mental, emotional health, priorities, that's always what you need to take care of. I guarantee you will have a terrible day on Rocket League if you're stressed about something else. Personally passive, unless you're playing with people higher than you. I mean, that's not a terrible approach, but play a lot of private matches, never infinite boost. I would not play private matches unless like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, pl play the game how you want to play, right? It's the best way to play a game. Play it how you want to play. I feel like uh, infinite boost private matches are just kind of a weird vibe. Uh, this is Grand Champ 2. That's a good cutoff challenge. I mean, so far so good. We, we haven't had a ton of ball control, like, for you and the teammate until now. Like, the opponents just kind of came out pressing pretty hard, and... We get our first ball control play and we score, which is great. Like to see that. Very good. Very good. Yeah, so this is interesting because the, the opponents are very aggressive. See how like, and this is what I mean. We, we had a tough time getting ball control in the early parts of the game. And, like, uh, we get demoed, we go for this, and then immediately that player's up for the ball, right? And then we go for our play right here. And, yeah, our touch gets away. But, like, I'm shocked that their second man is immediately up for the ball. So, your opponents are very aggressive. And see how, like, that's another quick follow-up as they start to transition right here. Right? And now teammates in a two-on-one. This dude's probably going to push for the bump. He's a weenie boy. But basically, where my head's at with this is... See how they attack you right there? How to... This is interesting. I haven't seen a replay submitted by you where the opponents are playing more aggressive than you do. So kind of where my brain is, is like, how do we create space? How do we create impact against like super aggressive ego challenge players? And I guarantee that most of our offense will be off these kind of like transition counterattacks, just like this one was, where it's like they were pressing the whole game and then you guys finally get ball control and then you immediately score. Typically when you play overly aggressive players, they're overly aggressive because their defense is kind of doo-doo. Um, so we'll... That's just where my head's at with this. I kind of like this because we could have this like adaptation mindset for when we run into situations like this. Like it's quick follow-ups. This is what the opponents are doing. Quick follow-ups, ego challenges, demos, speed, just like very obnoxious, which obnoxious is not a, a bad thing. say they miss and then yeah we should have shot that um okay so off the bat and i'll try to show some examples what i want you to try to adopt is if you run into opponents or your teammate plays like this so it's either the opponents you're playing fast follow-ups demos mechanics speed ego challenges if that's like you know you could feel it Dahlia, you're at a high enough rank in this game where you can feel that these opponents, these, these opponents are annoying. That's a nice way to say it. Or if your teammate plays like this, what I want you to think about is mirroring. So basically, you're mirroring their play style. Because if you try to control everything, you are feeding into their aggression. 
an aggressive player wants you to play defensive, wants you to play passive, and wants you to control because they can ego challenge you and that's their comfort zone. So what I want you to do is like adapt a mindset where you're thinking, oh, you're aggressive, we'll take this. And, and it's same thing with teammate. Like if your teammate's super aggressive, don't try to play super defensive because I guarantee that will not highlight their play style. Like you want to tap into the, the pace of the lobby. If players are playing fast, don't try to play a different speed. That's like the easiest way to think about it. I'm going to try to show examples for you, but I really like this. This is a concept I've done with teams called mirroring. And it, the, the whole point is to make the pace of the lobby feel good. And people will be like, what feels good? Like, it, it's just a feeling like where you're comfortable, where you're reading things. So like, don't over control, play fast, boom the ball, demo, cut. I want you to pace, okay? Try to show some examples of like what I want you to do. Get in there, boom, good, right? Just boom. Because remember, like the opponents, their kryptonite is defense. Okay, that's why especially in the grand champ ranks grand champs who play overly aggressive play overly aggressive because they're afraid or are inconsistent on defense so like i've talked about this concept before here field progression greater than ball possession like just prioritize getting the ball out and getting the ball downfield because the opponents will most likely make a mistake right a little bit of ball side rotation yada 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 now there's stacked goal line. I'd love to see you turn on this and ego it, right? Like we, that was like, we didn't have enough ego in that ego challenge. That's fine. I think this is good for like player progression with you because that's how you win games. You do not win games in Rocket League by playing smarter. Like it's kind of like play harder. Like keep the intensity up. I just think we're a little bit like, we're trying to adopt, like, a counterattack play style against this team. Which is effective, but I'd rather see this, uh, this mirroring play style. Simple way to go about this, Nolly, it's a mindset. If they're aggressive, you're aggressive. If teammates aggressive, you're aggressive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show some examples. Just shoot. Like... It's funny, like, this is why, like, oh, we hit our follower goal, which is, we get follow about it? No, we didn't. Um, no, we just got follows. Thank you. Um, for those who submit replays here, I always talk about progression, and, like, you, you hear me talk about, um, like, I mean, I, I just edited a video yesterday, and I was talking about Zach, uh, who, every time he challenged the ball, he was just shooting. But like that was fine tuned for his situation and I wanted more control out of him. Like for you, Nalia, I want shots. It's like you're constantly throwing shots on net. You're constantly booming the ball. You're constantly cutting. You're constantly egoing. Again, that play to beat mentality, but I'm not like going down that route with you. It's more of this like mirroring sense. Just like I want you to shoot that. Like don't control this. Just shoot it. Okay, just shoot. Not that we're going to score, but it's like, instead of having like one really good control play, I want five so-so shots on net. So like your whole ideology is you want to put so much pressure on these opponents, force them into the defensive half that, you know, over time they make that simple mistake and you get an easy goal off it. I would say over everything, this is like a mindset. There is gameplay elements tied to it. Just get in there, demo, like, yeah, I mean, I, I would have loved to have seen just, like, a drive challenge demo right there, but, but good cut right here, just, like, it's constant attacking, and I kind of want you to feel like you leave a five-minute match, and you're just like, oh my gosh, that was such an obnoxious lobby, like, it was just all over the place chaos, I mean, we're still going to secure the dub right here, which is great. And, like, you'll still fake, you'll still play passive, don't get me wrong. But overall, 
Right, this is good defense right here. I wouldn't change this. Good. So kind of consolidation on this. It's a feeling, right? Like you know when, like that's obnoxious, right? You know when players are playing obnoxious. When you see this player just bump your teammate on the wall or you see them ego challenge, right? Or you see them follow each other up super quick. Like it's that fast grand champy play style, right? When you run into that, or with your teammate, think about mirroring, okay? These players don't want to play defense, so get them on defense more. And you're going to get them on defense by just hard clears and shooting and a little bit less control. It's a mindset. 